Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create an index of entries or topics in your more formal papers or longer documents. This process is similar in nature to creating a table of contents. You simply mark the subjects or topics that you would like to reference in the index and then create the index in much the same way you created your table of contents. You can also have multiple sub-entries under a single topic as well. So for example, if you made an index on a manual, you might have a larger index entry for things like toolbars, and then sub-entries for each individual type of toolbar. You can also create cross-referenced index entries. So for example, I could cross-ref an entry of formatting with the format dialog box or the format toolbar. So when you've selected text in your document for inclusion in the index, you can either mark to include only the selected occurrence of the specific text that's highlighted, or you can choose to include all occurrences of the text entry highlighted by either marking it or marking all entries in the Mark Index Entry dialog box. Let's look at how we mark an index entry. So first off, you would need to select the text that you would want to include as part of your index entry. At that point, press Alt and hold that down, plus the Shift key, hold that down, and then press X on your keyboard. That'll bring up the Mark Index Entry dialog box, and this is where we can mark our index entries. The other way to get there is to simply choose Insert, Reference, Index and Tables, choose the Index tab, and then click Mark Entry. That'll also get you there. What you should see is the entry that you have selected in your document, shown as the main entry. Under Options, would you want it to be a cross-reference? If so, you could just simply type after the word C, the word with which you would like to cross-reference it. Or it could be a current page reference, in which case it'll put the page number of this entry. Or it could be a page range. Also, for the page number format, would you want it bolded or italicized or both? Whenever you've got whatever you would like as your index options, click Mark to mark it. And you can see that in the background, it turned on the non-printing characters. And you can actually see your index entry that was made. It's a non-printing field. Now this box stays open so you can continue to select other items from the document. So for example, let's say we wanted to select the word courses here. When you click on mark index entry again, you should see that as your main entry. Let's say we wanted to reference that with the current page. We'll bold it and we'll also mark all instances of the word courses anywhere in this document and then continue. Let's say we also wanted to mark the word undergraduate. So we select it once again, click on mark index entry and watch the main entry change. There we go. And then once again choose your option, choose any other options you want and mark that particular entrance or all examples of that word by clicking mark or mark all. Now when you're done marking your index entries, simply click the close button. Then you have to click into your document at the point where you'd like to put in your index. At that point, choose insert from the menu bar, reference, and index and tables if you're using XP or 2003. If you're using 2000 or 97, you simply have to choose insert from the menu bar and then look directly for the index and tables command. So once you choose the index and tables command, make sure you can see the index tab and here you get to choose the layout. So over at the right, what type of index would you like? Indented or run-in? 
How many columns should it be? Should it be a two column, a three column, or should it just be a simple one column index? Also, should it write align page numbers or not? And if you are going to write align the page numbers, what tab leader would you like? Also, if you would prefer, you can choose a different format, such as classic, fancy, modern, bulleted, formal, or simple. Let's say we're going to go with the classic. And we'll modify it just a little bit. Whenever you have it looking the way you would like, just click OK to insert the index. It'll look a little funny, but turn off your non-printing characters. There we go. So you can see that looks very nice in the end. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.